What's up friends? Welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here. My name's Alex, my pronouns are he, him, and this is my channel, Pucks and Paperbacks, where I recommend queer books and I like to create my own bookish challenges. For day six of my 12 days of Vlogmas, I am doing the Christmas cookie book tag created by Ordinary Reader and the original tag video will be linked down below. <laughs> In this tag, I'm going to be answering bookish questions based on Christmas cookies and I'm drinking. <laughs> Vlogmas has been hard, so I am going to drink one of my ciders while I do this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. I will also have a playlist link down below if you have been keeping up with my 12 days of Vlogmas and you just wanna watch all of the videos, a whole playlist is linked down below for you. Let's get started. The first question is, chocolate chip cookie, the cookie that's comforting in any season, name an old favorite. And I have to pick To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. This is one of my favorite book series. This is a book that I have read five times. If you're an old subscriber of mine, I've talked about this book so much on my channel back in the day and it still remains an old favorite. Next is Biscotti the Cookie. Wait, it is, it is this question. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, it is. Next is Biscotti, the cookie that is tough to bite into, but totally worth the effort. A book that was difficult for you to get into, but you're so glad you stuck through the end. And I do not have a book for this. <laughs> I didn't write one down because I don't know. Like, I don't really get like that unless I'm in a slump. So I'm just gonna go with the answer that I always say, and this is All Boys Are in Blue by George M. Johnson. I put this book off, like I was in the middle of reading it, and then one day I just put it down, and then the next month I picked it up. So I would, I don't know though. I don't know if it's a book that like I was had a hard time getting into. I don't really have that happen to me much. So I don't know. I also have a really bad memory, so I don't know. I usually don't have this problem with books unless I'm in a reading slump, but I'm going to go with an answer I always say, and this is All Boys Are in Blue by George M. Johnson, one of my favorite nonfiction books. And I just remember in June of 2020, I started this book and then I just never continued it until like July or maybe the end of July. And my reading time was awesome. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Next is sugar cookies, the cookie that comes in all shapes and sizes, give a diverse recommendation. And I am going to go with the book that I just read, I'll Be the One by Lila Lee. I really enjoyed this. However, there are a lot of Harry Potter references, so I want to advise you to go into it knowing that, but I really enjoyed this. It is about a fat Korean bisexual girl named Skye who enters a televised K-pop star competition called You're My Shining Star. I really enjoyed the conversations about fat phobia and homophobia playing a role in Korean Korean heritage and I just love Sky because she was such an empowering character who defied so many norms on TV and she went through so much hell but the end result was awesome. I listened to the audiobook and I just loved this so much so thank you to everyone for recommending it to me. I really enjoyed it but I could have done without the Harry Potter references. There were so many I was getting so pissed off. Aside from that I will be recommending this book so much because I loved it a lot. Next is peanut butter blossoms. I love these cookies. I make them every year. I actually forgot to say for To All The Boys I Love Before but Every year on December 1st, I do the Christmas Cookie Bonanza. If you haven't read that book series on December 1st, our main character, Lara Jean, does the Christmas Cookie Bonanza where she just makes a lot of Christmas cookies. She gets requests. I have been following her tradition ever since I've read the book. So when I do my Christmas Cookie Bonanza, I always make the peanut butter blossoms. The question for this is name a character that slowly but surely grew on you. And I'm going with a recent one. This is Enrique from Where We Go From Here. I talk about this more in my Queer Lit Readathon reading vlog. Basically, he is not a likable character in the beginning, but you grow to love him by the end. Snickerdoodles, the cake that should never have been made into a cookie. Oh no, that's literally not, that's literally not the question. 
Snickerdoodles, the cookie with the name that you can't say without smiling. Name a book that made you smile or laugh. The Check Please series. I have to go with this every time because it is such a sweet and wholesome series. If you haven't heard of this book series already, we follow a boy named Biddy during his college years on the men's hockey team. And he's a vlogger, he's a baker, and it's such a great series. I love hockey and I love this series. It makes me smile and laugh all the time. And it is a book series that I will keep rereading until the end of time. If the world's ending tomorrow, the last book series I will read is Check Please. Next is fruitcake cookies, the cake that should never be made into a cookie. I've actually never had this before. Let me know in the comments if you have had fruitcake before. I don't believe I've ever had it, but as a simmer, I absolutely despise the fruitcake. <laughs> Um, and this is a book that you could do without and I wrote two books for this. First is What If It's Us by Becky Abertelli and Adam Silvera. I hated this book. It was not good and it sucks because I know a lot of people love it and I just wish I would have loved it but it just felt like two characters bickering for 400 pages and it was torture. <laughs> And the other one is Again But Better by Christine Riccio, which also sucks because I wanted to like this one as well and I did not like it. I actually have a reading vlog, so if you would like to go and watch that, it will be linked up above. It sucks that I hated these two books because I really wish I would have, but what are you going to do? And no, I will not reread them at all. Next is The Gingerbread House, which is the video you're going to see tomorrow. And if you would like to see my whole schedule, I posted it on Patreon so you can become a patron for only $1 to support my channel and you'll get to see what all the videos are going to be. This is, it's more than just a cookie, it's a masterpiece, the book that has the best writing and or world building. For this, I'm going with the Once Upon a Con series by Ashley Poston. This is a geek inspired fairy tale retelling series about a TV show called Starfield, but in the first book, Gigarella, we see them on set of the movie for Starfield. So it's kind of like a Star Trek thing, but just the way that she created this whole series is mind boggling to me and it just shows pure talent and I love this series so much. Cookies baked especially for Santa. Share a book you plan on reading this holiday season. For this question, we need a future Alex. Hello, I'm going to be filming two reading vlogs for my 12 Days of Vlogmas and one of the books I'm planning to read is This Winter by Alice Oseman. I asked you on my community tab a while back what kind of Christmassy and winter books you would like to see me read. Someone recommended this, so I got it and I'm excited to read it. Cookie Swap, what's your favorite holiday cookie? And if you like to share the recipe or link to the recipe in the description box of your video. Let's just go down the list. I love, oh my God, I should have done, why did I not do that? I should have done a Christmas cookie tier list. I do not have time for that, but maybe that will just happen next year. However, my favorite cookies are the peanut butter blossom. This year, I also made chocolate cookies with peppermint Hershey kisses in the middle and they were chef's kiss. They were awesome. I love them so much. So that link will be down below. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Christmas cookie is or just if you don't celebrate Christmas what's your favorite cookie and the last question a glass of milk to wash it all down what's your favorite holiday drink and I have to say the chestnut praline latte iced it is so good I love it so much but I also love the candy cane green tea from Trader Joe's. I just had some. And that is the Christmas cookie book tag. I hope you're all enjoying my 12 days of Vlogmas. The playlist will be down below so you can catch up. I am having so much fun and I cannot wait for you to see the rest of the content coming. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. And I will see you tomorrow with my gingerbread house making.